we are used to, uh, we're asked to find the limit of the sine 2x over this complex equation. The first thing you want to check if this is zero, zero form, because if it is a zero, zero form, you can use the L'Hopital's rule. Um, there's a funny story about L'Hopital in school. We always called it La Hopital until our calculus teacher got tired and says, it's called L'Hopital. All right, so in here we have a zero, zero, of course. So if you plug a zero here, assign zero equal to zero. And here there's no brainer, there's an X here. So we, yes, indeed, we can use L'Hopital's rule. So over here, we need to find, um, you need to have a good uh, accounting system. So we're going to do the top. We're going to um, actually write it out. The top is sine of 2X. We need to find the derivative of this one. Derivative of a sine is a cosine, okay, using chain rule. You have to take a derivative of 2x, and then that's 2. That's not too bad. Now, the bottom one is a, is a messy one. So let's copy the bottom one out of here first. You notice I put a parenthesis around the x as well, because I want to treat this one as my first term, okay, and this is my second term. Um, the derivative for a product is not too bad if you keep track of what you're doing. So we're going to take a derivative of the first term, which is really 1, and leave the second term alone. Okay, And then we're going to add, take the, leave the first term alone, and then we're going to take derivative of the second one. And this one, it's a little bit messier, but not too bad. The derivative of cosine is minus sine. Okay, and the derivative of a secant, I had to look it up, it's a secant x and tangent x. Okay, that's not too bad. So the Laputal's rule basically says, what we can do is, uh, this one is really limit when x to the 0 on top, where I have 2 cosine of 2x. On the bottom, I have limit of x approach 0 of this whole mess I have. Um, I have a cosine of x, I have two terms, let's make it bigger, plus secant of x, plus x times this big long messy thing, minus sine of x plus secant of x, tangent of x over here. And we're going to take each term separately. On top, if you plug a 0 in there, you'll see it's 2, 2 times um, cosine of 0 is really 2. On the bottom, um, you can see this chunk is since the secant x is really 1 over a cosine of um, x over here. So this term is a non-zero. However, this term becomes a zero, right? Because it's x is approaching to zero. So this term completely drops out. So all we have is the first term. First term is really 1, actually 1 plus 1. Okay, so um, this limit becomes 2 over 2. So for our case, it's a beautiful one. All right. Have a confident day.